So I'm going to show you how to utilize Google Forms even better. You all are going to be pretty uh, stoked about this. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to Google Docs. Okay, this is a great uh, application and um, that Google Suite has. So I'm going to go to Google Docs and then I'm just going to use one of the PDF worksheets that I have. I converted it to a document for Google Docs. So you're going to need to use Adobe to convert, which you have access to on your desktop. You can go ahead and convert any PDF document to a .doc so you're able to use Google Docs. All right. After I do that, I want to be able to use this and add students to be able to answer these questions in Google Forms. So this is simple. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and go to add-ons. I'm going to use this add-on doc to form and I'm going to create a Google Form from doc. All right. Now, in order to get this add-on, of course, you're going to need to go ahead and get the add-on and then you're going to need to search for doc to form all right it's a free add-on up to 10 questions and then if you'd like you can donate either a dollar three dollars five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars it doesn't matter it's just a donation and you can get up to 50 questions i recommend that you do this this is a great add-on so in continuing question number one is this question so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight question number one and then use selected text so I'm just gonna click on it boom automatically there's the question now what type of question is it do you want the students to answer through text through a long paragraph multiple choice check boxes or from a list so let's just have the student answer to text okay done with that question next question highlight and then select. Now if you want multiple choice, it's simple. Add options separated with new line or semicolons. So I'm just gonna go A, letter selection A will be, we'll just do unknown. That's one response. Then I'm gonna go semicolon, space, and then I'm gonna go um, test and then I'm gonna go semicolon and then I'm gonna go don't know that's another answer and then semicolon and then I'm gonna go none of the above all right those are four multiple choice answers right there add the next question Let's highlight it's that easy and then go ahead and use select the text all right we'll do paragraph and then add the next question. So you select the text. We'll do multiple choice again. Yes. No. Maybe. All right. Add next question, which is the last question. Go ahead and you select the text. And then we're gonna go. Uh, you can either do check boxes or choose from a list. But we'll just do it text okay when we're done with all the questions let's go ahead and create the form so now it's going to create the Google form for you now let's go ahead and click view form boom automatically there's question one question two question three question four question five and as you can see that multiple choice there it is right here so after that, we need to make it a quiz or make it an actual assignment so Google Forms can grade it for us. So I'm going to go to settings, I'm going to go to quiz, and I'm going to go ahead and make this a quiz. Okay? Don't select turn on lock mode, lock mode. Okay? And then let's go ahead and save it. So now we're going to go, we already, we want Google Forms to answer this for, give us the answer to grade it for us, I'm sorry, to grade it for us. So we're gonna give it an answer key, it's 10, it's worth 10 points. And then this is the correct answer. Give it a check, done. Here, make it required. How many points is it worth? 10 points, done. All right, 
here because they have to you might you're gonna have to because it's a long text answer answer text you're gonna have to simply grade it grade their paragraph okay or grade their answer 10 points done now here's another multiple choice so we can have Google Forms graded for us so maybe that's the correct answer done all right make it required how did my Angelo show that she was creative make it required how many points is it worth 10 so you have 10 points per question done now all we are is we're going to share this so and then that's it and then that's it um if you want you can put the description you can go back and go here you can add this so we can just highlight or we can go direct to answer the answer the questions below copy it go here boom done now if we want we can go ahead and put this in there as well I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to go to Google Forms and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it so here it is right here so now let's preview what the student is going to see bam here it is right here all right so the student's going to answer this submit it and then we are done Okay, we can share this in Google Classroom and we can relax. All right, if you have any questions, just email me at aaron.whitelaw at psgisd.us.